Hello, welcome Woods and Water Outdoors. I'm Patrick Corcoran. Uh, today we're going to tie for you a, a calf tail or also known as kip tail uh, jig. Um, the lake we're fishing here locally, Ray Roberts in northeast Texas. Um, we have a little Tuesday night working man's tournament that we fish and, um, and so I'm tying up for you a jig that I use and everything I'm using right now is calf tail um, for whatever reason, which I prefer hackle, but uh, um, this lake, like I've said, I guess uh, they want something a little bit different. Um, you know, we've talked about how lakes have their own personalities. Uh, we've been fishing since I moved back to this area a couple years ago, uh, we've been fishing out there now for about a year and a half at these Tuesday night tournaments. And um, probably 90% of my fish have come off of calf tail jigs. Um, I can drop the same color combination with a, a neck hackle or saddle hackle feather jig and um, may catch some fish, but I'm not quite getting the same results as if I do when I use the, the calf tail. So um, the other thing that I've noticed is that uh, Usually I kind of do a three color jig, a, you know, heads one color, body and then tail, you know. Um, they want the head color and the body color pretty much be the same. Uh, so if you're fishing white and chartreuse and you put a pink head or an orange head on it, nothing. Put a pearl white head with that white body, good to go. So um, just kind of some things that I've for me have uh, discovered it may be different for other fishermen that are out there, but uh, you know, that's led to what success we've had uh, is using this uh, method and, and theology to, to uh, catch our fish. So um, last five weeks we've, uh, you know, had our big fish in our bag anywhere from one six to one eight. So, uh, we've been pretty happy with that uh, using these calf tail jigs. So um, today I'm going to use a green chartreuse uh, for our tail. We're going to have um, orange crushed chenille. And uh, I like doing my calf tail jigs on a walleye head, and I'll explain that whenever we get to that point, why I prefer that look um, for these jigs. Uh, 210 denier, flat wax nylon, in orange. That's probably actually the fire orange. So when you're cutting off your, your calf tails, um, when I first started tying with calf tail, I, I had a tendency to get way too much hair. Uh, so if, if you're wanting a big bulky tail and you want more hair than that in there, uh, then you won't want to layer it on there um, just like you would a bucktail jig so the hair doesn't roll on you on the hook. And uh, if you have that happening, then chances are you've got too much uh, hair at one time. And so that's about all I'm putting in, just a little, you know, little pinch of it. After you cut it from the tail, you're gonna wanna pull at it and get the fluff out of there and thin it up a little bit. And I'm not saying that still won't move on you a little bit, but uh, that's about the right amount to keep that from happening. And when I laid it on the hook, if you noticed, I pinched it down around the hook, and that'll also help uh, keep that from occurring. And then we're going to add just a little bit of uh, chartreuse crystal flash. I always put the crystal flash in the bottom on these calf tail jigs. If you put it on the top, because it's a more dense material, it's not going to uh, be seen. 
from the bottom. And so I want it to be seen. Uh, it, sparkle doesn't show through hair very well. Uh, it'll show through feathers that are a little duller or a little thinner, but a calf tail won't. And so now we add our chenille. All right, you notice how I kind of tapered that head a little bit, or the, the body. Uh, that is why I like the walleye head with this jig. It just fits with that presentation and that profile. Um, I just think it looks better uh, this way than it than with a round head. Um, and so that's kind of just kind of personal preference, and it's really how... I started and the head I used, so maybe that's what led to that as well. If the first fish I ever caught off of a calf tail jig would have been on a round jig head, maybe I wouldn't have thought any different, <laughs> but it was on one of these. So you, you stick with what you, what you know and what works for you. And so um, that's our little calf tail jig. Uh, we'll say one more thing, this, this color of chartreuse tail, um, I, when I was buying calf tails before I started a business, uh, I couldn't find this color of chartreuse. So we do dye these ourselves. Um, I try to keep some on the website and they're, they're definitely different than what you get from hairline or anybody else as far as what everybody considers to be a chartreuse. So, uh, this mimics very closely to our green chartreuse feather. If you have had it, um, maybe just a hair more green but um so that's our calf tail jig hope you enjoy